they don't want us to eat egg whites and roasted potatoes. So what we do, we eat egg whites and roasted potatoes. Bless up. What's good YouTube, this your boy, this your man Lane Jackson, also known as Elite Kicks, hitting you guys up with a new video. I know it's been a week and a half. A lot of you probably about to get in my inbox and be like, yo, we need some videos. So my bad, I'm hitting you guys up right now with a new video. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button right there down below. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button as well down there. Um, and I greatly appreciate it, man. I greatly appreciate you guys showing your boy love and support. Uh, it means a lot and it makes me want to keep going with these videos so as you guys as I mentioned before to you guys if there's anything you would like me to any videos you would like me to do any kind of workouts fitness related sneaker related videos comment down below because that's exactly what this video right here is somebody commented down to me probably about a month and a half ago asked me can I do a video on what supplements I can, um, do I take and I was like yo that'll be a great video to do so I made note of it um, and I'm finally getting to the video like I said I may not get to it right away, but I will do the video, all right? So this is that video that this uh, individual asked me. I can't remember your name, but shout out to you for asking a great question. Basically, they wanna know what supplements do I take? So I thought it'd be a great video to do, show you guys the supplements I take, the brands I take, um, give you guys my opinion on the brands, my opinion on the supplements. It just kinda, kinda educates you a little bit on what I know about supplements. Um, just like with anything you do when it comes to fitness, if you're trying to build a physique or you're trying to lose weight, whatever, you can't just take supplements and think that's gonna solve the problem. You still have to eat good and you still have to work out. You know what I'm saying? These are just aiding into achieving those goals. So a lot of people just think that, oh, I'm gonna take creatine and get big. You may get big, but you're gonna look fluffy. You know what I'm saying? Or a lot of people are just gonna be like, I'm gonna just drink protein shakes, I'm gonna get big. No. You still have to work out. You still got to put in the work. You still got to eat good. You still got to get the right amount of food. So I'm going to show you guys what I take. I'm going to show you some brands that I think, or not brands, but I'm going to show you some supplements that I think everybody should probably be taking if you're like trying to achieve these fitness goals. And then I'm going to just show you guys a couple things that you really don't need. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you the ones that I have, give you the knowledge that I have on them, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and check out what I have. All right, everyone, here's my supplement stack right here. Um, nothing crazy. I'm going to talk about each supplement, just pretty much what they do, um, and basically my thoughts and opinion of this the supplement. When it comes to the brands, I will explain the brands, but other than that, um, I'm going to just keep this short, sweet, and simple, all right? So starting with the first thing you guys see right here, the Hershey Kiss. Um, this is what I consider my pre-workout. I do not take any pre-workouts because I don't need them. I naturally have a lot of good energy, so I do not take any pre-workouts. So for the younger crowd or for the people that has tons of energy, I recommend to stay away from the pre-workouts. All you need is a candy bar, some chocolate, piece of cake, ice cream. Not necessarily ice cream, but like a piece of cake, brownie, cupcake, something like that. Eat that about 30 minutes before you work out, and then you get, there you go, you have your sugar. Or if you got chocolate, you got a little bit of caffeine in there. Uh, a lot of pre-workouts, that's all it is, is a whole bunch of caffeine. Uh, and it has a few other ingredients to aid in, like getting blood flow and getting a good pump. But uh, if you have naturally good energy, guys, uh, just save the, the uh, wear and tear of your heart and, and stay away from the pre-workouts, all right? Uh, the next two things I'm gonna talk about here, multivitamins and fish oils. I think these are two things that everybody should have no matter what. If you're, if you're cutting, bulking, or you just want overall good health, these are two supplements I think everybody should have. You got your multivitamins because it's gonna help you get those extra vitamins and minerals that you don't get from your food, like your vegetables. Unless you eat tons of vegetables, these come in hand. Uh, the next thing is fish oil. Um, it's good for your heart and your joints, especially when you're working out. It keeps your joints lubricated. Um, this particular brand, when it comes to fish oil and multivitamins, I buy whichever one has the best deal. I actually like this brand because with fish oil, you have to be careful. They have some that has like a burp, make you burp, and then it has a fishy taste. This particular brand by Muscle Tech does not give you that fishy burp. Um, you just take one a day. Sometimes they tell you to take two, but guys, just take one, all right? Multivitamins, same thing, whoever has the best deal. I think when I bought both of these, it was like buy one, get one free. So I just jumped on it and I have the second one at my job. So this is a good brand. I like Muscle Tech. I like their multivitamins because they're small. Um, I actually, they're not big pills. A lot of multivitamins are pretty big. So 
I like this one a lot because the pill is actually small. So here you have it, the fish oil and multivitamins is what I take. Next thing I recommend, um, this was for anybody starting out bulking cutting as well, is BCAAs. Uh, right now I'm on this current brand right here by Optimum Nutrition. It's a good brand. And then once I run out, which I'm almost done, I will switch over to here. And just like with fish oil multivitamins, I buy whichever one has the best deal at that time. This one I was able to get buy one get one half off so this is the reason why I have this one. And I usually alternate between these two because these are my favorites out of all the BCAs that I try. Alright so with BCAs it's pretty good for like muscle recovery, it helps aid in that soreness if you get sore uh, after a workout it's going to cut maybe a day or two off your soreness. Um, it's good for retaining that muscle. Um, I also take, I take this during my workout and I also take this on my cardio days. So after you work out, you can take it before or after your workouts as well. But on my cardio days, I take it during my cardio. And on my workout days, I take it during my car um, workout as well. All right. The next thing a lot of you guys ask is about the protein. Now protein, if you're just starting out, I recommend you stick with 100% whey protein. Um, Optimum Nutrition, this brand right here makes a great protein. I just get chocolate. They have different flavors, but this is a great protein right here to have. Um, it has low calories. You have 120 calories, one gram of sugar, three grams of carbs, um, and the fats is one gram. So this is overall good if you're cutting or bulking. They do have mass scanners, which means there's higher protein, I mean higher calories, more carbs, more fat, stuff like that. But this is a good overall starter protein for anybody. So if you don't know what kind of protein to get, the numbers is the very important thing. Um, this particular brand is not too expensive, but it's not cheap as well. But I like it because it tastes good with water. And if it tastes good with water, then it's gonna taste amazing with milk or almond milk or whatever you decide to mix it with. So whey protein, that's all you need. Just look for something that says 100% whey and look at the numbers. You wanna try to keep low fats, low carbs, and low sugars, all right? So this is the protein I use. Sometimes I use uh, Syntha 6. Um, they have a little bit more carbs. I think it's 15 grams of carbs per shake, and their sugars is a little bit higher, but it's nothing crazy, all right? These are the things I think that, if you're just starting out, you should invest in. Now these two items right here, I'm not gonna get it in depth too much, because it's something that you don't necessarily need to have. Starting with this, this is just something that I was able to get for a great deal. This is an $80 pack, but I managed to get it for $7 and I wanted to try it out. Uh, it's just a stream training pack. Um, it has like four or five different pills in here. I don't take all of them, I just take the ones I want to take. Um, and like I said, the only reason I bought this pack was because I was able to get it for like $7.50 per pack. I got a major, major discount on them. So um, I'm just trying it out. Um, I actually gave the other packs to a couple homies. I bought four of them. So this is something you don't need, but I'm going to show you guys this because this is what I currently have. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, this is all I have in my supplement rotation. This is what I have, but you really don't need to get these packs unless you're like extreme training or you're getting ready for a contest or something like this, uh, something like that. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is creatine. Now, I know a lot of you guys is curious about creatine because when you think of creatine, you think of gains. Oh, I'm going to get muscle. I'm going to get big. Uh, yes and no. It depends on what kind of creatine. This particular creatine right here uh, by Concrete is a creatine HCI, which means that this creatine right here, you're going to get a lot of strength. You're not necessarily going to put on a lot of good size. You're going to put on maybe a little lean size, but your strength levels are going to go up, which is going to help you be able to push heavier weight, which in turn is going to help you gain muscle. Um, if you get monohydrate or micronized creatine, that's where you get that more you see people, they, they get on creatine and they start getting bigger and bloated looking. They get that fluffy look. They get bigger, but it's just a lot of water retention in the muscle. This right here, you don't get that. Um, it's no bloated. Um, you guys can see right here. No loading phase, no cycling. You don't get that bloated feel. You don't get cramping and there's no water retention. So that's the reason why I went to this brand right here, Concrete, and I got the unflavored. So you can just mix it in with your, I mix it in with my BCAs and my protein, all right? So right here is creatine. And like I said, if you're a little advanced, you know about supplements, stuff like that, definitely uh, try a little bit of creatine. This particular one, you can take it every day if you want. 
Um, I don't take it when I'm not lifting weights. I just take it on days I'm lifting weights and I take it twice a day. I take it with my BCAAs and my pro um, protein shake after I work out. So this is my basic setup. Like I said, um, these particular brands are the brands that I stick with. I'm a bargain shopper, so whoever has the best uh, deal at that time, that's normally who I go with, guys. And um, just don't be so quick to jump on like these brands, like the ones I have. You know, bargain shop around. Just the biggest thing is to look at the numbers, especially with protein. So if anybody was asking me, what should I buy? I'm just starting out. I just started lifting weights. I want to get a little muscle. What should I buy? I would tell you to get protein, BCAAs, get your fish oil, and your multivitamins. And of course, you have a great diet. You can't just take this stuff and expect to get big. You have to be eating good, and you also have to be working out, guys. Also, it's your pre-workout, your natural pre-workout. <laughs> so yeah, these are current. These are what I would recommend to somebody who is just starting out. And you probably can get all this right here for less than 100 bucks if you're smart at shopping. Um, sometimes you'll get like buy one get one free with these, or like these you'll get buy one get one free. Sometimes this is buy one get one half off. Uh, and if you feel like it, or if you know a little bit, get you some creatine if you want. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. You can catch me on Snapchat. I'm finally on here. My username is Lane FLP Elite Kicks. Check me out on Snapchat. I'm always posting stuff, uh, especially if you're in the in the fitness. Um, I'm always on here. Got my story going, so check me out on Snapchat. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment. More videos on the way. Peace.